a trial is set to begin over redistricting in Wake County. A federal judge will decide if General Assembly drawn election maps are constitutional. WNC and Zimmer Wright is live outside of the federal courthouse there with more on this story. Emma? This trial has been almost four years in the making. That's when these maps were originally drawn. Democrats say Republicans used race as a factor in drawing those lines on the maps, and they've been fighting it ever since. The maps have caused tension for years. They used race to try to achieve their political uh, um, uh, goal. The race was not the predominant motive because of all the other factors that this court has already recognized uh, that went into the drawing of these districts. In 2013, the General Assembly rewrote school board election maps, turning two of the nine districts into regional seats, each covering half the county. Months later, lawmakers changed the Wake County Board of Commissioners election maps to match the school board lines. We have uh, uh, fulfilled our obligation to the people of the state and we have fair and legal districts. Democrats and some activist groups uh, say the changes were made with political motives and are unfair to some of the state's poor and most diverse areas. This is about the facts, and the facts are the maps that are on trial, and those maps are unconstitutional. Now, it will be up to a judge to decide what's legal and what's not. The outcome of the trial could immediately change the November election for both boards. That trial begins today at 9 a.m. WNCN will be in the courtroom, and we will bring you an update on the news at 11. Reporting live in Raleigh, I'm Emma Wright, WNCN News.